we have a challenging proof today. Given that a, b, and c are odd integers, we want to prove that ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero does not have a rational root. So how are we going to do this? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to do a proof by contradiction. So if you can pause the video and try to figure it out yourself, go right ahead. But let's see exactly what we're doing here. So what we're going to do is we're going to make an assumption. So our conclusion we're going to say is false. So we're going to assume that ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero has a rational root. Now, what does that mean? So what that means is that we would have x is equal to m over n, where m and n are integers and n is not equal to zero. So what this means is that we can rewrite this as a times m over n squared plus b times m over n plus c is equal to zero. Now, I don't want to deal with any sort of denominator, so what I'm going to do is multiply all of these by n squared. So I'm going to show you why. So we're going to get am squared over n squared plus bm over n plus c is equal to zero. If we multiply all of these by n squared, then we can get rid of the denominator. So what we're going to get then is am squared plus bm times n, since n squared divided by n gives you n, and plus c n squared, and this will be equal to zero times n squared, which is just zero. Okay, so at this point we have this formula, and now we need to figure out, okay, what is that rational root m over n? So what are those values going to be? So we're going to have to consider cases at this point. So we're already embedded in a proof by contradiction, but now we need to deal with the cases. So there's some combinations of types of integers that m and n can be. So first of all, let's ask ourselves, what happens if m is even, and then we have n even? Okay, so one important thing that we should probably do here is assume for our rational root, m over n, that this thing is in lowest terms. So uh, a minimal fraction. Uh, maybe let's use a different term. So, so there's no common factor. So what's going to happen if m is even and n is even? Well, if this happens, this means that there is a common factor of 2. So it couldn't be the fact that m and n are both even because we end up with a contradiction. There's a common factor of 2, but we already assumed they were in lowest terms, so there shouldn't be that. Okay, what about if m is even and n is odd? So let's think about this. Well, if we take a look at our formula, am squared plus bmn plus cn squared equals zero, and we ask ourselves what is going to happen here. Well, first thing is that this bit right here, am squared plus bmn is going to be even because m is even. So we can extract an even term from both of those. But n is odd, so c times n squared is also going to give us an odd number back. Now, if we add two even numbers and then add a third odd number, it is impossible to get that to equal zero. So it's not going to be equal to zero. We're going to get a contradiction. So we can't have m even at all. That's going to cause a problem. So what happens then by cases if we have uh, m odd? So let's start with that. Okay, one case we can have is that n is then going to be even. So if we take a look at our formula, am squared plus bmn plus cn squared is equal to zero, what's going to happen here? Well, m is odd, so am squared is going to be odd, and then n is even, so in bmn and cn squared we can pull out an n, so we know that this bit right here is going to be even. Now we're running into the same issue. We have two evens and one odd, so our final result can't be even. It's going to be impossible to get to zero. So... That can't equal zero, we have a contradiction there. Finally, we have one more case to consider. This is the case where we have m odd, and we also have n odd. So if this works, this means that we do have a rational root. But if not, 
all of our cases are impossible, so we get a contradiction. So if we have am squared plus bmn plus cn squared is equal to zero, what's going to happen here? Well, first of all, m is odd, so m squared is going to be odd. So anything times an odd number is going to be odd. Now for b times m times n, we have two odd numbers being multiplied by something else. So an odd times an odd, seven times three, what do you get? You get an odd number back. Now c times n squared, n is odd, n times n is odd. So c times that will also be odd in this case. So all three of our numbers are odd. Now if we add three odd numbers together, we can get two of them to cancel out, but that third number isn't going to work. Our result is going to be odd. So this, once again, is impossible. So we do not have that this can equal zero. So no matter which case that we pick, if we assume that ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero has a rational root, we cannot make this work. We cannot get any combinations of m and n's in terms of evens or odds where this equation will have a proper solution. Therefore, we can say that there is no rational root. By contradiction, we've shown it's impossible. Therefore, there's no rational root and the proof is complete. So this one was a little bit tougher than some of the other ones, but I really like this proof. It's a proof by cases embedded in a proof by contradiction. So if you're looking for something that was more challenging in the discrete math sense, this is one of those proofs.